I can also hear that you big in melodies as well mm-hmm. in your music. You yeah, feel me? Yes, because like, when I hear it, like you can, you feel me? You get on a melodic sound, yeah, and then you can also rap. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna speak about it later on, but you remind me of one of my, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Artists that I like, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Bitty the Butcher and Westside Gun, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Remind me of them, and I'm gonna speak on that later on though. Okay. okay. But uh, like your song though, um, heavy. Yeah. You feel me? It gave me like a juice. You feel me? Juice World G Herbo vibe. You feel me? <laughs> he said Juice World G Herbo. Okay. So, so like how, That's the first time I heard of that. So like how was that recording process? Um, That that was song was some years ago and we actually recorded that song at one of these guys that rap back in Athens. Um, He go by the name of Paco. But um, I had linked with him that day and he had his own studio of his own. So it was like we just went, you know, we linked up through Instagram. Um, like most of the people I link with, we just connect through Instagram and stuff like that. And um, basically he had his own setup and he just let me record, you know what I'm saying? Like I just went in there and really just made something. But it's still, like I said, I stay on topic about the pain, For and, so, you know, stuff like that. Like the track intro, that one of my favorites, you feel me? Like I was talking about West Side Gun, that's what we talking yeah, about, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. That, you feel me? Oh, the yeah. intro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the intro on the mistake, another eviction notice. Another, right? Yeah, yeah. So how did that topic, how 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 did that name come about, another eviction notice? And you feel me? Why do you okay. make that as a... Uh, like I said, mistake? like before, like me and my family, we struggled. Like every, I, can, I can't I re- can really remember any year that I've struggled since the year of like when I was like 18. And that was like five, six, seven years ago. You know what I'm saying? And it always took, um, like me and my family coming together, seeing what they went through. Another eviction notice, because everywhere I moved in Athens, I got evicted. It was up to a point we probably stayed and like um, due to what, like, uh, just not keeping the rent up. You know what I'm saying? Bills was overdue, lights was always off, and so when I used to come home from work, I wrote that whole mixtape like literally in the dark. And uh, one thing that's symbolical to me is that I used to always light up a candle every time I came home. I was so serious about music at that time. It was like uh, 2021. And um, I actually went and got a candle tatted right here, matter of fact, uh, just to, you know, remind me all the days that, you know, I struggled through that time. So like some, so, so like sometimes whenever you feel down or anything, do you still look at that candle? Yeah, yeah. And it just take me back to what, the place and time where I was. And it made me think like, you know what? You can't give up on yourself. Right. You got too much effort. You put too much time into the, and you got too much talent to be just wasting it. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, bro. Yeah, that's what's yeah. up. Yeah, because I hear it in your music and another bitch you notice. Know, yeah, yeah. And then, as you say, as you wrote, wrote in the dark, it made sense because it sounds like yeah. powerful pain. Powerful pain. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? Yeah. I rock with it. I rock with yeah. it. Yeah, I fuck with it. So how was the process like writing that? And, um, from top to bottom, I say it probably took me, it took me a while to write it, but in all together, I say not more than two months. Like for me, my writing process is more so I get a topic or melody or something I'm going through and I like, I kind of freestyle it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I freestyle it a little bit. Scatter, y'all. Yeah. So, I hear Before it. I even record it. Yes, sir. And, and once I get a rhythm for the song, then that's when I start putting the words in, putting the words into like the verse or the hook. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a big part of music. It's having a good hook and a clean verse. That's you know sorry. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. A lot of people they just want to go into the uh studio and just freestyle, 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 but it all sound the same. You know what I'm saying? 